Hello, everybody. It's Charlie again, and I'm currently playing Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. And uh, I have a playlist on this game from a while, not too long ago, actually. And yeah, it was a really good experience. I think it was fun. There's a few things about it that you may not like, but uh, I kind of wanted to go in here and do a replay review on it in 2023 to tell you as to why you should play this one. But yeah, other than that, let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Hello guys, I'm back. And I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick review of one of my favorite games for LEGO, the LEGO series, I guess, of Marvel games. And even though this wasn't as this game wasn't as good as the first one in my opinion, this one does have improved gameplay, improved um, I guess frame rate and improve the graphics in general. It just looks better. That's the truth. That's the reality. Another thing that you'll notice is the maps of the variety in them because of the story. The story is kind of uh, unusual, right? So many things happen. Obviously, the story isn't as good as the first one, which is where it falls back a little bit, but it's still pretty fun overall. Here we have Dr. Strange flying around one of these metropolises. Um, I forgot what this city is called, but it's based um, sort of a futuristic city. I think this is where Black Bolt res resides in his group. There's a couple of members of his group that I wasn't aware of. I think only Medusa I knew, but the other team members I wasn't sure of. These are some of these characters are, are kind of obscure. Um, I think Black Bolt shows up, and I think in the multitude of madness or something like that, multiverse of madness. Anyways, here's another area with Star Lord. Um, this is uh, taken straight from the movie. A lot of these places are a mix of the movies and the comics, and some of them are just straight up comics, you know? <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes. But yeah, right here he uses one of his best weapons because they have these special moves, and his special move is basically turning on his Walkman and making everybody dance around him, and it makes it easier for you to do combat on the bad guys, you know? Which is really cool, I, I think, in my opinion. It's something very cool included in the game. There's a couple of little things like that sprinkled throughout the characters that I think you guys would find very interesting and fun. So overall, this area here is actually, I think, in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I forgot what it's called, but it's, it's a pretty cool area. It'll remind you of that. But anyways, um, as we continue on here, this is the giant roster of characters. There's quite a bit of characters, as you can see. I haven't unlocked all of them. Even though I did beat the game, I haven't platinumed it. So little by little, you start unlocking things as you collect, uh, you know, Lego money, the coins. And um, you can double it up and do stuff like that, which I'll talk about it later on. But it's really good that you have this much variety in characters like you did in the first game. Actually, this is there's a hell of a lot more here, I think. I think this is the biggest roster out of all the LEGO games. Don't, but don't quote me on that. The point is that all your favorite characters, villains, and also created characters that you would make are in the game as well, which is really amazing. So um, here's the Bifrost, as you can see, classic Thor area, right? <laughs> It's also a mix of, air this is one of the mixed areas within the game that's really cool. And uh, there's, there it is, there's that memorable bridge that we all know. And I was trying to break it, I guess, in the scene. <laughs> but it really, you feel the sound and everything, it does feel like a genuine, legit game, you know? Underwater levels are also in the game, like Atlantis and stuff like that, or similar area cities in Atlantis, I guess, in the Atlantis of Marvel, that is. <laughs> where Neymar resides, the Submariner, that finally showed up in a movie, the Black Panther 2 movie, which, in my opinion, it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, but I'm glad he showed up, you know? And they did the little wings on the ankles. <laughs> and this is basically one of Black Bolt's team members. He has basically underwater abilities, which is, these guys can swim faster. These are the characters. Each character has their abilities. You guys know how it works in these LEGO games. And this guy is part of the underwater one. His swimming is faster, he can walk easier underwater, and obviously he can breathe underwater. There's also a, a bunch of like side missions and stuff to do underwater, which is also really cool. Which will remind you possibly of some other comic book places, you know. Um, because a lot of these areas are not really shown in Marvel movies, at least not yet. 
I think the the best we saw was in Black Panther 2 with um, Namor. I finally showed up. The Submariner. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to continue on here to the next area. And um, we have Egypt also mixed in into this giant city. And um, I really like it. I really like it. I just think it's like a good mix up of things. Here's the Egyptian superhero or I should say Egyptian god slash superhero. I forgot his name, but he's also in the comics. I don't know anything about this character to be completely honest because there's just so many Marvel characters that, you know, I, I'm not an expert in all of them, like the obscure ones, but I'm sure some of you probably know who this character is. <laughs> Regardless, he has cool powers, he has flight, uh, which some of them do as well but the fact that you can go to a pyramid like Lego area come on guys that's pretty cool but um, another thing you're gonna notice is that the gameplay it, it, it does have their own combos sometimes when you fight I think that started in Avengers but I'm not really sure in Lego Avengers here we have another character that I have seen in the comics and I think I'm pretty sure I've seen in an episode of something but I'm not really sure. Don't go beyond that. Anyways, it's more like a Western scenario. It gives you that whole feel. That's also mixed into this world. Um, some people didn't like the whole mix of the world and stuff. But I like the sound, the gameplay, the way the game looks. It has some ray trace perfections. I'm not sure if it's ray tracing, but it looks like it. It looks like it just naturally is improved. Especially when you're playing it on a PS5 and 4K. So, yeah. I would definitely... Also... Another thing, I created Quicksilver as you can see right there um, in the game because the X-Men sadly are not in the game, unfortunately, due to copyright reasons or whatever it may be. So I created Quicksilver because they do have super speed in the game. And uh, basically you go in here, you create different types of heroes and you got their weapons, appearances, abilities, um, passive traits randomness it's pretty simple self-explanatory way to create characters which is i think a really cool thing that's in the game and you can't beat it honestly it's pretty fun um but i think yeah it's just a lot of cool things the battle mode guys there's a battle mode that nobody talks about i haven't seen this in any videos um that you could play with friends and stuff and it's up to four players i believe but maybe two no i think it's four it's a team of four okay um, the point is that I honestly didn't even know this was in the game till a while later and Yeah, I think this is a, a cool feature. It might be a Mario Party type stuff, but with Lego and Marvel characters, you know It's another thing that's really awesome. So overall, I'm gonna give this game I'll do it right here in the middle of the review an 8.5 out of 10 Because what knocks it back is the story a little bit. It's a little short not that interesting But the thing about this game is the replayability and the variety, you know um, also, the roster is gigantic, so, and it does feel like each character plays differently, okay? So it's not like they play, everybody seems exactly the same like in the other games. It's improved. Here is another taste of a weird thing. It's basically a noir city. Here I have Spider-Man swinging through the noir city. Even the music changes. Daily Bugle is there, and this noir-like spider-man noir city area you guys know spider-man noir from the miles morales movies the animated ones and um yeah it's just really cool because it changes the pace a little bit you know it's kind of like a dark tint black and white like it dulls the color of the city a little bit craven the man at uh, the craven the hunter is here and craven obviously he's gonna have his own his own movie pretty soon with aaron taylor johnson who used to be quicksilver Shh, don't tell anybody <laughs> um in the avengers movies um I, and that's a movie i'm looking forward to the commercials don't look that bad honestly i know a lot of people may be annoyed by that but to me it doesn't you know and he's in the new spider-man game so that's cool but yeah that's pretty cool um here we have captain marvel flying through another area of the city as you go up further into the clouds there is other areas i believe if you go further than that there's nowhere so nowhere is here um for some reason i didn't put a clip of nowhere in there but as you go up further you'll notice that the clouds change and you feel like you're in outer space so you could t you could really already tell that you're in another area so and i thought that was pretty interesting the way they did that because as you go up you feel like you're genuinely like not in earth's orbit anymore you know 
and yeah it's just little touches like that along with the character with the characters play and um also the voice acting is really good guys when you play through the story you actually care about the missions you find them interesting not all of them some of them unfortunately you won't give that sh that much shit about but um and side missions you guys know these are lego games but i do like going around and trying to get all these items and that's the main that's to me that's the main draw from these games and this one's no different um but uh there's little billboards and stuff that'll remind you of comics and uh areas where people live in the comics and stuff and i think that's cool little touches here and there and there's a certain charm about lego games let's be honest there's just charm about them so anyways, um, here is the Avengers, one of the Avengers headquarters, aside from the Avengers uh, building. This is the Avengers mansion, I guess. Tony Stark, where Tony Stark, um, basically Tony Stark's house, let's be honest. And um, yeah, there's a laboratory area. Here I have Daredevil and Moon Knight teaming up. And yes, I did like the Moon, Moon, Knight, Moon Knight show and I love Daredevil. I can't wait for the game to come out. But the Moon Knight show really wasn't that bad. I thought it was uh, Oscar Isaac played a pretty cool Moon Knight. Um, Gwynpool, who's also in the game. So yeah, I mean, you can't beat it. She's also a character you eventually get if you get all the characters. And here I am bouncing on her bed. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here's a couple of unlockables that will help you gain coins quicker so you can unlock characters. And yeah, like I said, guys, 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, play this one. I do recommend it. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I do hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe when you get a chance. And like I always say, Cooking!